And now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about the teachings of Jesus and his kingdom. And someone might ask the question, How is it possible to live in perfect righteousness before God? Actually, the fact is that you and I are sinners, and we can never perform in perfect righteousness before our God. We may try to do all the right things. Maybe you go to church every Sunday and read your Bible every day. Perhaps you try to keep all of God's commandments. While you are so busy trying to be a good Christian, thinking this will make you fit for heaven, you have to realize that you can never measure up to God's standard. When we read the words of Jesus and realize that even a man looking at a woman can be as sinful as the act of adultery, then we must all realize how far short we fall of God's perfect standards. Perhaps you have never stolen even one small coin, but your heart is covetous. You really want to have what others have. That makes you a sinner before God and under God's judgment. So what are we to do then if God expects us to be perfect and we're just not able to be perfect? Listen, the Word of God says, There is none righteous, no, not one. Romans chapter 3, verse 10. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Romans 3, 23. We need to understand that we can never make it to God's glory in our present condition, no matter how hard we may try. The only answer comes from God himself. He has provided a way that you and I can become perfect and righteous in his sight. It is not through our own efforts, but through the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus died on the cross, he was paying our debt of sin. Jesus was a perfect man who never did any sin at all. Because he is perfectly righteous before God, and because he took our place in judgment for sin, then the Bible teaches us that we may have his righteousness imputed to us. That means God will take the righteousness of his son Jesus and give that to you if you will accept it. It is not through your good efforts that you are made right with God. It is through the love and grace of God who freely wants to give you the righteousness of his son. When this happens, God can look at you and see you as he sees his son in perfect holiness before him. And that is the only way you can ever be accepted before him because he is perfectly holy and can never accept any sin at all into his presence. This should compel us to trust in Jesus as our Savior and accept the free gift of eternal life. The Bible says, Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us through the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. That's from Titus chapter 3 and verse 5. And be found in him not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. That's Philippians chapter 3 verse 9. I hope today this message has helped you to understand that God's salvation requires a righteousness that you and I can never find on our own. We must accept Jesus' righteousness through his sacrifice for our sins if we are to be saved and on our way to heaven. May God help you to understand this and accept by faith the free gift of God's righteousness through faith in Jesus Christ. Remember, we are not saved by our own efforts but by the efforts of our Lord Jesus Christ. Is it possible to live in perfect righteousness before God? Yes, it is, when Jesus Christ has saved your soul, and by this God gives to you the righteousness of Jesus Christ.